At the top of our instant index tonight, guess what they found under a parking lot in England? The 528-year-old bones of one of the most powerful and perverse kings ever. We're told by Shakespeare that Richard III had a curved spine and a wicked heart. A ruthless spider killed in battle. A horse! My kingdom for a horse! Well, take a look at that skeleton they found buried beneath the parking lot. The curve in the spine, evidence of severe scoliosis, the kind that might get you labeled the hunchback king. And there, a gape in the skull, a fatal blow in battle. But the clincher was a DNA match. The British tracked down a Canadian-born cabinet maker, Michael Ibsen, a known descendant of King Richard's sister, Anne of York, who showed a match with the DNA in those bones. Eerie to think the Hunchback King has come to greet us once again. Now is the winter of our discontent. And tonight it was the water cooler debate of the day here. Which Super Bowl ads topped your list? Well, USA Today ranked them and number one, the Clydesdales, the irresistible fall we showed you last Friday. Today, there was a picture of the fall getting the news. And by the way, she will be named later this week. Number two on the list, the Tide commercial, the magic stain, remember that one? And number three, radio legend Paul Harvey advertising the Dodge Ram with a salute to America's farmers. God said I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again, eat supper, then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer. And here's to all the farmers in my life, too. And you can see the entire list of winning ads on our website, abcnews.com.